Alright guys, so we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here. So, I mean, this is the classic, I mean, we have here the review here of Heinz Tomato Ketchup. I mean, this is the brand that we all know. It's the most popular ketchup brand, at least in the uh, United States here. I'm not sure about the world, but I've been to London before, I've been to Rome. And in those two countries, I've been to, uh, I've been to other places too. And, you know, usually usually I see Heinz wherever I go around the world. It seems like Heinz really has a monopoly on the industry. I mean, I've seen other brands before. I've seen the Hunts. I've seen a couple other brands that do exist from time to time. But about 99% of my uh, restaurant experiences or anytime I'm in a store or anywhere, usually Heinz is the brand that has kind of consumed the earth here. And to be fair, there's been some monopolistic practices on their part. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to deny that. I mean, they own so much of the, they own so much of the supply chain. They can afford to make the price so cheap that competitors simply cannot compete in many markets, right? At a competitive rate. So, and there's a good reason for that. Heinz is a very good tasting ketchup. It's consistent no matter where you consume it around the world. It tastes the same. It's a great taste, and I just, I just, I just like it a lot. I mean, and the ketchup is a, probably the most popular condiment, not just for affordability, but for also for usability. It can be used in many different uh, foods, you know, fried foods, casual foods, um, microwavable foods. It really does work with everything. And nutritional is pretty good on here. I mean, I mean, the four grams of sugar is a kind of annoying per serving, but overall, there's no fat, no cholesterol, has some vitamin C, a little bit of sodium in there, but nothing uh, too crazy there. No allergens, right? No dairy, no soy, no wheat, no fish, no beef. I mean, there's no allergies in here. It's, it's just all around really, really good condiment to use. I mean, really. And this is a smaller bottle here. Um, they make the small one like this. They make the medium one which also is plastic. They also do make a glass one as well. But those are, are increasingly becoming out of style as plastic is is just a better way to go in this situation. In most situations, I prefer other materials. When it comes to ketchup, you really do need the, the plastic. The way you can squeeze it like that and that force, that force pushes the ketchup out. When you have to use glass, you gotta hit it, and it's really annoying. I mean, I keep hearing the 57 thing, and yeah, it does help, but it's just really annoying, you know? Because you have to you have to fight physics, right, to open that thing, to get the tomato sauce out. You like to shake it like this, but you're actually fighting physics. I learned in physics that when, you're when you have a, a glass bottle, you're supposed to do this. This is actually pushing the ketchup down further. So you have to fight the laws of physics and it just pisses me off. But this, you just squeeze. I mean, it's just so easy, man. So like, I've done a taste test before of Hunt's and if you ever seen that video of me eating the, the, Hunt's, the Hunt's ketchup raw, it really, it really was strong and I didn't like it. But, you know, I could, I'll do this raw. I'll do this raw because I don't, I don't feel like doing this in any other way. So I'm going to eat this stuff raw here and I mean, wish, wish me good luck here. So let's go. Put some on my hand here. Got some on my hand here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lick it like a fucking dog, I guess. I don't know. See? It's... You can eat this stuff raw and you still won't even, like, you know, like die or anything. I mean, I remember eating the other ketchup, you know. And when I ate that stuff raw, I, I needed water immediately. It was just too strong of a flavor. But definitely, when it comes to ketchup, guys, you definitely, definitely want to don't. Definitely uh, don't want to eat that stuff raw. I just don't recommend it. It's just, it's just a better thing to put on something else, you know? So, yeah. You know, for all guys, if you do want to purchase some uh, Heinz ketchup, I recommend it. Um, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And if you want to support me, I have some links in the description. Check them out. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you. Bye.